Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to What's Up 234. And I am super excited. I'm back on Zwift, racing with my mates and teammates. I've got the new Primal team kit on, including the bibs, so I get to check those out. I'm doing the WTRL team time trial in a newly formed team, the WKG 111. So I've defected from team WKG fun. And before all that, I'm doing my warm up with Hal Wai, Rin Visser, Paul Mersk, uh, Paul Bailey. Who am I missing? Oh, only the legend that is Mr. Paul Nichols, who's currently at 357 kilometers. He's doing the ride with Mark Beaumont, whereby there are 80 riders that got to sign up. Paul was picked as one of them. And if each of those 80 riders does 250 miles, That'll equal the distance around the world that uh, Mark Beaumont rode when he set his world record. So, wow. The funniest thing is, Paul's done 357 kilometers. I've done 2.7, and I'm still struggling to hold his wheel. But yeah, I couldn't think of a, a better way to do a warm up for my first Swift race. That said, I've been doing it for five minutes, 49 seconds. I'm out of breath. When I say I'm racing the WTRL team time trial, what I really mean is, I'm going to jump on the back of a group, hang on for dear life, for probably, well, about this far, about three kilometres. And, uh, and then I'm just going to try and watch and commentate on my team as they, they finish off the job. Anyway, Paul, dude, Mr. Nichols, I'm super proud, man. Super proud to know you, to have you in the group. And... Uh, Super jealous. Obviously, I had to go looking for Mark Beaumont in my one of my previous outdoor rides and failed. Apparently, if you pull Nichols, he comes looking for you. Uh, but no, super, super stuff. Raised loads of money for charity. I'm pretty sure the Just Giving link is still in the Facebook group. If I remember, I will put it on the underneath of this video as well. I'm not sure how long it stays open for after the event. Uh, but it's got to be worth a go. Uh, yeah. Pickles, my man. Well done, dude. <laughs> this pace is too much for me for a warm up. I know that's a joke, but it, it is. Um, I'll stay with them for as long as I can, but I don't want to destroy myself before the race. Anyway, I shall see you in the start pen. Okay, so we are coming up to one minute past six. So the first team should be going off now. Go. There we go. One rider. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Ten seconds. I've got to get this right. I start pedaling at about three. Oh, watch has turned off. Here we go. So five, four, three. Start pedaling. And. Oh, they're saying ten seconds. No, it's go, 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 go. Surely. Oh, my watch must be worth out. Alright. <laughs> go, go, go. Right, okay. Luckily, I didn't go off. Very fast. <laughs> so, right, a bit of a mess, but okay. Thank you, Percy. Telling us to smash it. Whoa, who's this coming up fast? I'll read out who our team is in a second. First, let's just try and bunch up and settle down. Okay, so two of our guys are off the back. So, need to ease up a bit and bring them back. And those two are Mr. James Bailey from The Herd. The Herd legend. Awesome to see you, James. And uh, his namesake, Stuart Bailey. They're both working their way back. <sighs> I'm out of breath already, not gonna lie. Uh, Right, let's just name check the rest of the guys. Obviously we have Mr. Ring Visser. Another name that's relatively new to me. Hendrik Nan Nan Dijkstra. Again, apologies. Uh, Rudy Plasma. Great to be riding with you again, dude. Kevin Lindenk. Another relatively unfamiliar name, but I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. As I mentioned, Mr. James Bailey and Stuart Bailey. 
Awesome team, guys. Okay, right. The Baileys are back. Let's try and pull them onto the, the bunch ahead. There we go. We are all together. Great work, guys. Well done. Team coming through. They're going fast enough that they should literally just fly through. Here we go. No, I don't want to get caught though. Oh, I'm not ready for climbing. That's for damn sure. Oh, Jesus. I hate this route already. I don't, I don't really recognize it. I tend to avoid New York at all costs. I can tell you, I'm remembering why. Uh, I'm done. So sorry guys. My breathing's all over the place. Uh, that's not good. All right, easy gear. I'm now gonna pull around, just get some miles, and I'll try and watch and commentate on the rest of the team. So we're currently looking at Mr. Van der Kuy. Oh, oh, so sorry, guys. I thought maybe a, a team race would be my best introduction back into racing but I forgot about that horrible feeling of letting your teammates down but honestly next time we came to a climb I'd have completely blown up I just got nothing so we have Seven riders still together, if I've counted that correct. With uh, Van der Kuy, Bailey S, Visser, Dijkstra, Lindek, and Bailey J. Keeping it nice and tight, guys, looking good. So obviously we started at two minutes past the hour on this horrible New York Astoria line course. It's three laps of it, I believe. Um, let me just see if I can see when Team Fun start, so I'll know the kind of... Okay, they're not starting until a quarter past, so have they even started yet? Oh, they've still got another minute to go before they start. So, that would be some absolutely Herculean effort for them to catch. But obviously it's based on overall race time at the end, so... I'm looking at the power that uh, Team 111 are putting out. That's pretty strong. Obviously, I've not ridden with fun for a while, but I'd say this is on a par with what those guys can do. Goat herders, equally, very similar in power. I'm not even talking about the other ones because they're on a different stratosphere to me. Vomit, pain, torture, all those teams. But yeah, this is looking pretty solid. 6.7 kilometers in. I think it's about 30k, the total distance. Do you know, when I read out the rider list then, I'm pretty sure I didn't say Mr. Palsma or Plasma. How very rude of me. I do have two very genuine reasons why I was so shite tonight. Reason number one, left a. Reason number two, 19 crimes. I lost quite a bit of weight while I was ill. And had I had the strength to jump straight back on Zwift then and take advantage of that weight loss, I'd have been loving life. But it's only taken a week to 10 days of a, you know, I'll be honest, pretty horrendous diet of wine and beer 
and uh, I put nearly all of it back on, which is very disappointing, but hey-ho. I did a 10k warm-up. No, I didn't. I did 11.1k warm-up. And obviously, I've done about 7k in this race so far-ish. So that is already the longest ride, or longest cumulative distance in a week that I've done in over a month, I think. And I've not actually been on Zwift. In fact, I think it's to the day, my last Zwift race. It's on the 23rd of March. The Critty Critty Bang Bang. And uh, I was already feeling a bit rough then. My wife was feeling worse than me. And basically the following day, boom. The crap hit the fan, so to speak. While I'm on this subject, and I know I'm really waffling, just to uh, send my thoughts to Damon Bailey of uh, ZMS, who is very much under the weather. Uh, thoughts go out to you, my man. I hope you, uh, hope you and your family are all on the mend soon. Back to full strength. And anyone else, I've, I've been kind of wrapped up in my own situation. I'm sure I've missed loads of teammates and other Zwifters who have come down with COVID-19 and uh, not been making such a song and dance of it as I did. So, <laughs> um, to all of you, I wish you, uh, wish you all the best and hope you get well soon. <laughs> to be lapped. <laughs> I can go back to my camera and have a look. Oh man, look at that. The ultimate humiliation <laughs> being lapped by my own teammates. <music> I'm now being lapped by the, the Vikings. Right on guys. I think I just saw my team. Where were they? Aha, here we go. Found him, Mr. Bailey. Looking very good guys, very organized. Lovely tight group, loving that. Not as much as if I was still in it, but hey ho, can't have everything. I should mention, I was, for a very fleeting moment, tempted to wear the, uh, the new speed suit for this race tonight. But as I look down on the camera screen of myself there and see what I actually look like bent over even in this slightly looser fitting jersey, I'm glad I made the decision very quickly to just complete, just to forget that idea altogether. So the likelihood is you will never ever see me in an aero all in one skin tight speed suit again. So I'll just run through this awesome team again. We have Mr. Visser Rink that we're watching now. Digstra, do you know what, I feel bad. I'm gonna look up your first names again. I'm sorry I don't just know them, but I struggle with names, even with my family, to be honest. Okay, so we have Rink, Hendrick, Stuart, I wanna say Nanny, Peter, or Nani, Pete, Peter, Peter. Uh, Nanny P, there we go, it's like a hip hop rap name. Rudy Plasma, Kevin, James, and what was myself. Uh, and these guys are smashing it. Looking really strong. <music> what I'll also do while I'm chatting. Has Wink dropped off the back? Oh, he's all right, it's on a descent. And um, just once again, thank Mr. Gordon Jackson for his awesome work in putting the, uh, the WKG teams together for these time trials. Absolutely amazing. Obviously thank WTRL 
for continuing and, uh, and growing this event. It's massive, absolutely massive. So uh, thank you guys. I'm obviously on that horrible climb again. Can you hear my train, train is squealing in protest to what I'm putting it through. <laughs> Nice work here by James Bailey, who just got detached on that last climb. But he's powered over the other side, and worked his way up this little ramp to get back on. Nice stuff. Do you know what? It's just occurred to me. This might actually be the other James Bailey that was in our league because he's not got herd after his name. Either way, apologies, James Bailey, not from the herd, if I misidentified you. Apologies, James Bailey, from the herd, if I'm now misidentifying you. I would expect James Bailey from the herd to be riding with the herd, but I figured it's possible they were going off at a time that wasn't convenient for him, so he figured he'd join our group. But the more I think about it now, the more I'm convinced this is the other James Bailey that raced in our league. Especially as he seems much more powerful than the Herd's James Bailey. You remember how I embarrassed him up out to Zwift that time? Yeah, I'm pretty convinced this is the strong James Bailey. But that said, it does look like that last chase back that he did might have been enough. I don't know, he's closing back in again. If he's got another strong kick in his legs. You might be able to bridge just over the other side of this lump. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, reach just dropped back. Look at that, 11.9 watts per kilogram. Okay, so he's dropped back to try and work with James to, uh, to bridge that gap, which is currently at four seconds. So they can do this. Go on, guys. There we go. Nicely done, fellas. Can you hear my trainer? Sounds like a pig giving birth. I'm going to try and read out my team again, remembering their first names. Um, oh God, first one. Oh, Kevin. Kevin Lindeck, Nanny P. Van der Kooi, Henrik Dijkstra, Ring Visser, Stuart Bailey, James Bailey. Rudy Plasma. I'm gonna have to check. Hang on. Hendrick, yep. Nanny P, Kevin. Yep. I got it. Someone sent me a message. Who is this? Is it something offensive? Ooh. Peter Patonk Wilson. He's messaged. He's in a bit of a mess. Alright, the first picture, his blood all over his shoes. I'm going to try and flick through. Oh! <laughs> Don't know if this is going to come across. Picture of a very menacing dog in those trees. I don't know if you can see that there. So, I'm going to put two and two together. Oh, I'm not going to show you in the next one. Bite marks in Peter's legs. Holy crap. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but <laughs> bloody hell. Of all the ways to hurt yourself cycling, getting chased and mauled by a dog is not one that's ever really occurred to me. Maybe it should. Oh, anyway, on a serious note, I hope you're alright, Peter. That actually looks pretty nasty. Unless you did that shaving your legs and you've just taken a picture of a random dog to try and justify how bad you are at shaving. Yeah, that's definitely not James Bailey from the herd. Do you see how well he worked to get back into the bunch again? Heard Bailey would have just bailed out. 
he's not got that kind of commitment in his, in his legs. Well, I think I need to stop talking over, or trying to talk over the top of my creaky trainer. That's horrendous. <laughs> Keith, trying to chase down the 111s. I think he must assume I'm still part of the group. <laughs> After these guys finish, I'll try and um, pick up Team Fun if I can. They'll lap me soon enough and know that I'm way off it. Good point Ian Elston, it's very hard with all the lumps in the course, which is exactly why I got dropped. You know, on a flat course, I'd have been able to persevere, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Keith D's excited because he's catching me. You might be catching me Keith, but I'm at least a lap behind the team you're trying to catch. <laughs> Although, if the situation was reversed, I'd be very excited about catching you as well. <laughs> oh, balls, he's obviously with me. <laughs> Who's that off the back? Hendrick. Uh, nicely done, dude. Just a little sprint. Boom. Back in the bunch, lovely stuff. Do you know what, I think James Bailey has got to be my rider of the day. He looked done a couple of times. He dug really deep to get back in. Great work with, uh, with Rink to help bridge on one occasion. But that's still not easy, you still got to put the power out to work with someone to get back on. And, uh, Many lesser men would have thrown in the towel. Not saying who, but many lesser men with the same name would have thrown in the towel. Whoa, there's another Vikings team coming through. Have I not given Kev uh, Kevin a ride on all this time? I'm so sorry, Kevin. Kevin Lindeck. See, I'm getting good with the names now. Didn't even have to look that up. <laughs> Another team coming through now. Uh, Tri Star 2, is that? I know that blue jersey, Stages jersey, was Tri Star 2. I didn't see if the other green shirts had that in their name. Oh, my watch has just vibrated. Another, another message. Shall I show you Peter's legs? All right. If you've just eaten, I apologize. These are dog bites. Oh my God, just like it on a hill. I mean, they could very easily be shaving cuts. Maybe I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I need to know where the finish line is or what the finishing distance is. So I'm gonna have to flick away just before so I don't get dumped out of the event. And I can pick up Team Fun. Not sure who that is with the blue jersey that's sitting in amongst us, I say us, my old team is coming through, H rate, yeah to be fair, he's got a fair bit of power so I think he was just trying to fight his way through. Team fan have lost a man, Mr Simon Coppin, I know how that feels man, I'm pretty sure you got further than the, uh, the four and a half kilometres that I managed. <laughs> sure what H rate is doing here I mean it's, it's a tricky situation he's clearly got good strong legs but that's not enough for him to uh, 
to pull away from a bunch of seven riders. Uh, so he really needs to drop off the back and let them get away. And he can ride as fast as he likes. My worry is if we get disqualified by him being in our in our group. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but that would obviously be a shame. Is that the finish? Is that the end? I'm not sure it is. No one's lighting it up in the way they often do. No, it's not. <laughs> Nicely done guys, both WKG and CWCC. WKG burst through there nicely. CWCC did a great job just easing up a little bit to let them through. That's what you want to see. Hopefully we haven't got anyone stuck. Oh it looks like yeah, it looks like James might be stuck. Let's see if he can come back at this one. That might be too much. They're pushing on now. So obviously they're nearing the finish, so here we go. Awesome stuff. All right, I'm going to need to clip away just before. But oh, wow, WKG 111. Great race. Lovely riding with you for the short period that I did. All right, let's try and find team fun. Great stuff, guys. That was Brilliant. Oh, I've just seen Reg best week. Let's give him a quick ride on when we're coming through here. Oh, someone on the grass. Probably deserved a ride on as well. But... Oh, that's Simon who dropped off. Ride on, dude. Um, I saw Ian as well, who I think is probably... Hey, it is Catherine. Is this the bunch? Yay. Gotcha. Right, so this team looks like it's Percy Santa Maria, Andrew Lawrence, Ian Elston, Hal Y, Catherine Denton, Steve Newton, I can't see Keith Denton in there. He might be a bit further up. Obviously Simon Copping was there. Oh, there's Keith. Yeah, he's at the front of this bunch. Right, let's go and give all these guys ride-ons. There's Ian. Andrew. Percy. Oop. I've done Catherine already. Hal. Oh, I've already done Hal. Keith. Steve. Whoop. Go on, Steve. Big dig. Get yourself back in that bunch. You got this. There he goes. I shouldn't really be cheerleading the enemy, but, you know, I've got a feeling this is a pretty bloody fast time from Team Fun. So they're at 21, 29k already. So that means what? They've got about, I think it ended up about 34k. So they've got 5k to go. They started 15 minutes. Well, oh, I don't know. It's going to be nip and tuck. They started 15 minutes behind 111. Okay, team fan look to have stepped it up a little bit. Very tight bunch, as always. It looks like they're pulling quite hard on the front for this last couple of kilometers. Okay, so here's that final sprint banner. So yeah, I think it was about, I think it was about a kilometer after this, the end, wasn't it? I really should pay more attention to what's actually going on. This could get a little bit messy here because obviously it's right near the end of the race. There's another team of caught up. So there's no way either team is going to want to back off. So here we go. We've got who's up the front there? I think it's Ian. Yeah, Ian Elson, six watts per kilogram. Line it up, going for the line, sprinting with someone else. <laughs> They're all putting the power down now. Nice. Great stuff, team fun. 
excellent race. I'll be interested to see the times. That looked pretty fast to me. Well done, guys. Well, I'm going to go back to me. I've still got six kilometres to go. You don't have to watch me finish this, but I will finish it because that would just be even more disappointing if I don't actually complete the distance as well as getting dumped by my team. Well, WKG111, thank you all so much. That was brilliant. Thanks for allowing me to be part of your team knowing that I was going to be basically dead weight. Um, so I appreciate you including me. Just a very quick notice about an event we're doing, a very short event, on Road Grand Tours, RGT Cycling tomorrow night. They very kindly made my Gravity Grime Trial route, which is only just over five kilometers long. Um, and we can't do multiple laps of it yet either, so it is just one lap. But I'm gonna be, well, I've already set up an event for seven o'clock, I think. You know, I'll put an official notice in the Facebook group for anyone who wants to race me on the Gravelly Grime Trial route. It won't be gravelly, it's, it's just standard roads for now. But uh, it's based on the GPX file from my in real life rides, so it could be quite interesting. So like I say, I'll put the details in the Facebook forum. Uh, it'd be lovely to have you along with me. And after that, next up for me will be the cat race on Monday, which will be the first of the, the three races of our April three-way. Obviously I missed the last three-way, so this will be a first for me. My expectations are phenomenally low for my own performances, obviously. Uh, but we're starting off with three laps of the cobbled climbs of Richmond. And then on the Tuesday, it's Critty Critty Bang Bang, which will be stage two of the three-way. 14 laps of downtown Dolphin. And then the third and final stage of the three-way is the Mini Crit on Wednesday, which is a single lap, the London Classic route. But remember, a single lap also includes about five kilometers of lead-in on that particular course, so it's longer than you think. Um, and basically, we combine the times for the three courses to work out the GC winners in each of the four categories. Simples. Anyway, I think I'm done with the waffle. I'm sure there's loads of people I need to mention about that have done stunning achievements while I've been away from, the, from Zwift for a while. Probably loads of people to thank, loads of other things that I would normally ramble on about, but I'm going to restrain myself tonight and just wrap it up here. So thank you all very much for rating. Thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.